Welcome to the Altera Online Training Presentation, eCPRI Intel FPGA IP, Customizing the IP. This training is the third and final in a series of courses designed to help you become familiar with Altera's IP solution targeting the eCPRI protocol. By the end of this course, you will be able to customize the eCPRI IP for your specific frontball application. You will also be able to generate a complete design example based on your customization to perform various tests with the IP. We will begin with a section on how to configure the eCPRI IP. Here we'll talk about the parameters that make up the IP core. Then we will finish with a section on the steps to generating the design example and how you can run it in simulation and in hardware. This training assumes that you have a good understanding of the EC Pre protocol, as we will not spend much time defining its details. The course also assumes you are familiar with the Cordis Prime Pro software tool suite and its design flow when targeting Altera FPGAs. And while not absolutely necessary, a good understanding of Altera FPGA architecture is helpful. If you have further questions on the 3GPP, or EC Pre-Spec. Here are links to some resources. This includes links to the EC Pre IP User Guide and the Design Example User Guide. If you need to download and license the EC Pre IP, you can find information on this in the IP User Guide. So let's look at how to configure the IP. The EC Pre IP Parameter Editor is the tool within the Cordis software that lets you customize an instance for your design using all of the configurable options available on the IP. Please note that the EC Pre IP Core does not appear automatically in the Cordis software IP catalog. It is an extended IP Core that requires a separate installation. See the EC Pre IP User Guide for instructions on how to install the IP. After installation, the parameter editor is found in the IP catalog in both the Cordis Prime Pro software and Platform Designer. Locate it under Interface Protocols and then eCPRI, or you can just type eCPRI in the search field at the top. Double-click to open the parameter editor. All configurable options currently available for customizing your IP instance are found on the General tab in the GUI. At the top, Select the transceiver tile to which you plan to connect IP. Of course, this option is unavailable if you target an Altera device family that does not use tiles. Next, you can see the primary bus width. This is fixed at 64 bits. Further down, you can indicate the measurement type for eCPRI, message 5 delay measurement, either off, one step or two step. Below the FIFO depth settings is an option to enable advanced mapping mode. Enabled, it allows mapping of MAC addresses and VLAN tags to the eCPRI physical channel or PCID. Below that, you can see the option to enable pairing with an ORAN IP core, whether from Altera or another vendor. This enables an extra interface as mentioned in the prior architecture and interfaces training. At the bottom of this screen capture, there is a streaming option. It is grayed out when pair with ORAN is enabled. Enabling streaming lets you control the maximum Ethernet frame size. Off sets the max frame size to 1500 bytes. On sets the max frame size to 9000 bytes. Continuing down the tab, you can see the option to enable IWF Type 0 support. Since currently only Type 0 and a single CPRI Mac are supported, the following two fields are fixed. You can also indicate the CPRI planned line rate for your CPRI interface. Finally, at the bottom, here is where you can set up to eight default Mac addresses. These pre program the Mac address CSRs, so you can change them dynamically later if you wish. If you have questions on any fields in the parameter editor, the Details tab to the right is a great quick reminder. Of course, this information and more are also in the User Guide. Once you have completed setting the parameters for your instance, then generate the IP, instantiate in your design, and compile. This is the same flow used in all Intel FPGA IP. If you are not aware, the Show Instantiation Template option in the Generate menu 
gives you an instantiation template you can copy and paste into your source files. If you need to modify your settings, just open the .ip file created by the parameter editor in which the settings are stored. Note that if you are building the system using the Platform Designer tool, then ECPRI IP UI is the same, but once you finish customizing, the IP will get connected within the Platform Designer UI. You also do not need to generate the IP as the IP files will be generated along with the rest of the Platform Designer system. Now, let's see how to create a design example. The eCPRI IP Parameter Editor can create a complete design example for you. The design example is created using the very parameters that you set in the editor window. It provides a great example of how the IP core can be connected in your own design. A block diagram of the design example, created when targeting an Agilex 7F series device, is shown in the screen capture. The design example is fully functioning. It comes with a test bench wrapper that you can use in your favorite simulator to verify the core's behavior. It comes with the files necessary to target select Altera development kits. This allows you to see the IP core functioning in hardware. Using the compiled results of the design example, you can research helpful information on IP resource usage and performance. Looking at the diagram, let's go over a few features we see here. The eCPRI IP core is shown in gold. The eTile hard IP for Ethernet to which it connects is shown to its right in yellow. The test wrapper block, shown in light purple in the middle, contains test pattern generation logic. An IWF type 0 block in gold and a CPRI IP block in turquoise are shown on the left side of the diagram. Of course, they are only added if IWF Type 0 support is enabled during parameterization. Outside of those, we can see a PTP PLL, an eCPRI IO PLL, and additional subsystems, bridges, and interface logic needed for design example operation. The design example can also be enabled with multi channel operation for up to four channels. Note if you target other FPGA families, you can see slight changes to this circuit diagram. Always check the design example user guide for your target FPGA to see what will be generated. To create the design example in the parameter editor, go to the example design tab. There you can specify if you want a design for synthesis only, simulation only, or both. Select the target design language either Verilog or VHDL. Then select the development kit and the number of channels you want to test, up to four. Choosing a development kit means that the design example will be generated with the right target device, device pins, and any necessary hardware constraints set for you. If you select none, you will still get the design, but you must manually assign pins and set any constraints. Once generated, the design example can be used in several ways. You can run a simulation to review its behavior. Simulator setup scripts are provided for popular FPGA simulation tools. You can compile the complete design example and then use the Cordis Prime Pro software's compilation report and timing analyzer to check implementation, layout within the FPGA and tiles, area consumed, and timing performance. Then, you can program the FPGA development kit with the compiled design. System console scripts are provided so you can perform various in-system hardware tests. Please see the design example user guide for more details and instructions for performing these tasks. This concludes our look at customizing the eCPRI IP. After viewing this training, you should be able to use the parameter editor tool to customize your implementation of the eCPRI IP. You should also be able to generate an example design to test your customization in simulation and hardware and view the results of its compilation, all of which greatly accelerate the development of your own application when using this IP. The Altera training team is always looking to improve our material. To do this, a survey will be emailed to your registration email address. We welcome any feedback you may have.
Thank you for viewing this course and have a good day.